Attorney General Nigel Hughes is not happy with the DPP's decision to discontinue the private charge against Crime Chief Wendell Blanham. Hughes filed a charge on behalf of his client, Detective Sergeant Dion Boscom. Today, he said no request was made for the statements or the basis for which the charge was filed. Um, this, you will appreciate, is a most unusual uh, development, I would dare say, I would venture to say perhaps unprecedented for this reason. The Director of Public Prosecutions has the power to withdraw charges, but her constitutional power is premised on the fact that she will act reasonably and that she will not act capriciously and that there would be a legal basis and foundation for her actions. Uh, in this case, where she has not seen the evidence, where she has not requested the evidence, where no attempt has been made to find out from either Mr. Bascom or his legal representatives on what basis those charges were filed. Hughes plans to challenge the DPP's decision to discontinue the matter all the way to the CCJ. That decision of the Director of Public Prosecutions is going to be challenged and I believe it's going to be subject to a long challenge by either side all the way up to the, the apex court, I'm sure, um, because we don't believe that the persons who are responsible for making decisions on whether criminal charges continue or are discontinued can do so merely on, without any basis whatsoever and, and perhaps merely on a whim and a fancy. So I think we all would benefit from the guidance of the court in relation to that. According to the police on Thursday, it was noted that in accordance with the powers conferred on the DPP under Article 187.1c of the Constitution of Ghana, the DPP has discontinued the charge filed by Attorney at Law Nigel Hughes against Crime Chief Wendell Blanham. The lawyers for the Crime Chief contended that the charge is an abuse of the court's process and nothing more than an attempt to intimidate the Crime Chief as well as senior police officers who are expected to testify in the matter against his client. You said he respectfully believes, perhaps, that the DPP was a little over-enthusiastic. Um, that is the most perplexing statement for, for several reasons. One, we are unaware of who the witnesses are going to be in the cases where Mr. Caesar and Mr. Singh are the virtual complainants. So we wouldn't even know whether or not Mr. Blanham is going to be one of the witnesses in that case. Two, the testimony of Mr. Blanham would not be necessary to establish the cyber uh, criminal offense under the cyber crime because the person would have, uh, who was affected would have been the person who would testify and of course the person who perhaps broadcast the uh, alleged offending statements. So there's no way we would have anticipated that Mr. Blanham was going to be a witness and given that the police prosecutor had indicated he was going to make the statements available on the next court hearing, we couldn't assume Mr. Blanham would have been that person. So we respectfully believe that the DPP perhaps um, was a little over-enthusiastic and in rushing to judgment, in withdrawing a charge where she was unaware of the evidence. The matter was expected to be heard in court on September 21st before the Chief Magistrate.